Hey everybody, Ann here. I've already had my coffee, sorry. But today's video is going to be a tour around my entire property. I've got my ball cap on so the ticks don't drop down out of the trees and into my hair. I've sprayed myself down with bug spray. I've got my boots on. Look at these boots. Aren't they fancy? I feel pretty fancy in them. So I'm gonna take you down to the street and that's where we're gonna start. We'll start from this corner and go to that corner, to the back corner. And I don't know, I may go across the stream too. It is so, so overgrown with brush back there. It's going to be scary. Oh, I forgot my walking stick. There's my walking stick. It's actually a snake stick. I, I kind of rattle the uh, earth a little bit before I step on things. So now let's take a walk. I guess a good place to start is my Willy Wonka garden, which is totally grown over. But the zucchini still trying to grow. I think that's hilarious. And so now we're walking over to this corner of my property and I'll show you kind of where we're at when I get all the way out to the street. Here is, well, this isn't exactly the corner of my property because my property goes way back past that second tree there, actually to those trees off in the distance. That's all my property too. I'll try and get back in there today and see if there's anything going on back there. But this is the street. And this is Mr. Lucas' property, you can tell, because he has a beautiful, beautiful lawn, and his property goes way back there, too. And so, here is my little garden down by the street. Not doing all that great, but it, it uh, you know, it's growing. I did want to show you, though, look at this. All right, I've got peppers that are definitely growing right there. Look at these watermelon plants. They are totally vining all over the place, and that just surprised the heck out of me. So I don't know, maybe I will get some watermelon. Brussels sprouts are trying to grow, and that's butternut squash. It's mm, not doing so hot. And look at these, look at these cucumbers. Let me see if I can get over here and show you this little cucumber. I've actually got a little cucumber back in there. I do, I can't believe it. There, yep, there's another one. Oh. Oh, look it. I got a new little buddy. Hi, little foggy. <laughs> I won't bother you. Uh, I got a cucumber over here, too. It's hard to see. And then, look at this. These are the spaghetti squash plants. They're also finally starting to vine. Got a few blooms on them. No squash yet. But that makes me super duper happy. And then the beans. <laughs> and the tomatoes. I need to water these probably today. We've gotten a little bit of rain, but not enough. And then I've got this one zucchini plant that's just doing really well. There are one, two, three, four zucchini growing on them. I could probably pick that one. So this is finally starting to take off a little bit. And here's just the other side of it. So basically my problem is water. All right, so here's the corner of my property, and I'm trying to pan slowly, trying not to jiggle too much. I wonder if I got a selfie stick, if that would help. Now, this post right here, that's where I'm going to nail the pit bull security sign. And I need to cut down all these here. It just looks terrible. I don't like it at all. And here's the end of my drive. There's my mailbox. That brush there is actually my neighbor's property. And here's my drive. Yep, the gravel is starting to kind of, you know, get grown over. I need to put some weed killer or something on this grass. But I can get up and down this drive, no problem. So that's, that makes me happy. And then over here, I've got plenty of lumber, plenty of wood, just need to cut it up. And in this area, I usually find really cool mushrooms. Uh, most of them are poisonous, but they're cool nevertheless. And it's pretty back in here. All right, let's take you up past the truck. Look at Miss Judy. <laughs> she just doesn't want to lay anywhere else but right there. And yep, I had cleaned this whole area up, and she got a hold of another piece of cardboard and shredded it. And uh, she has been getting on the dog bed a little bit, but she got it all muddy, so I kind of set it up and let the rain kind of wash it off. Uh, and y'all know that the garden is over there, the little chicken coop uh, run, whatever, is over there too. 
And here's where I got the solar. Got the Harbor Freight up. I need to burn some trash, that's for sure. And so this is where my property ends. This big, uh, I don't know what you would call it. <laughs> um, the people who originally had this property dug all this out and leveled everything out. So that's pretty awesome. Yep, there's my junky old shed. I need to kind of clean that area up. That's my little shower stall and the rocket stove and, and little uh, awning that I use to get up under. And I did move it back a little bit so that the rocket stove is actually almost kind of sticking out the back of it. So that should work just fine. And a bunch of junk over there. I need to get rid of it. So let's go back way far this way. Now I'm going to take you back to the back of my property, and this is all overgrown. Oh my gosh, there's just so much, so many weeds and whatnot. But there is kind of a little bit of a trail, because this is where I always walk. This is where I start walking. I don't go in the really high stuff anymore, just because it's, it's taller than me in a lot of places. And I don't know, I don't go back here as much anymore just because it's so hot and I get eaten up by bugs. But the further I get back, the more awesome it gets. So this is my property line right here. See that? So if you just follow those trees all the way up and over there, that is my property too. Okay, let's see what else we can find here. I'm trying to look for mushrooms at the same time, which is kind of hard. And these weeds are up to my boots, basically. But I love looking at all the foliage out here. It's just pretty, it's peaceful, and I just love it. All right, so what I have to do now, i get a bug on me. I need to cross this little stream here. This is just like a dry stream when it starts raining a whole lot. It just goes down this rut, and then it joins into that stream over there, and it joins into the other stream going that way. So, I'm trying to pan slowly. Let me cross this and take you over to this side. Just so you can get an idea of where we're at now, there's the tiny house and a little property marker. And I'm over here, yet another pile of wood that I'm pretty sure there's some animals sleeping in. Back there, there used to be a whole bunch of berries, but uh, the, the birds or snakes have probably picked them out. And I don't know if you can see that posted sign, so my property goes all the way back to those trees with those signs on it. And uh, this here is a mound that's just been built from trees that have either been cut down or have fallen down. And I'm not even gonna get up there and climb on that, no way. Not right now, I'm not. But it's very pretty back there. Gorgeous. See, there's another posted sign. So, I've got another drainage ditch here. They're all over the place, and uh, I'm kinda glad that I have them because the water isn't just standing anywhere. It's actually draining really nicely. All right, so let me take you further back this way. More fallen wood. All I need to do is cut it up. Yay. Another little drainage ditch over there. And another property line marker right there. So this is all still my property. I'm really loving it, guys. I just keep looking around for mushrooms. Not seeing any right now. All right, so... Let's go all the way over here. This is another mound that's been formed out of stacked wood and whatnot. And things just grow all over it. A uh, few months ago, there were a ton of mushrooms all over this. They were so cool. And so my property is still kind of going up in this direction. If you can see that little marker back there, that is another property line. So it's kind of going up in a triangle, up the hill, almost to the road, but uh, kind of like into my neighbor's backyard. Let's take you over here a little bit more. Gosh, I wish I could find some mushrooms while I'm out here. All right, so for reference, there's the tiny house, okay? Well, let's keep walking this way a little bit. 
and I'm also trying to look for snakes. Uh, my property goes all the way up that hill, kind of like to that, uh, I'll try and put a marker, uh, big tree off in the distance. Okay, this is what it all looks like back here, guys. Wouldn't it be cool if I could make a clearing for a spot for a tent? I would love that. Please, God, don't let there be any snakes out here. This is the big fallen tree that I found those big oyster mushrooms on. I kind of hoped that there would be some more popping out here today, but I think I pretty much got all of them. Let me come around this way and see if there's any on this stump. Nope. All gone. And again, more brush or wood, whatever you want to call it right there. And I've kind of zigzagged back a little bit because here we are at the tiny house again. Okay, let me go back over there. I'm almost at the, the farthest corner on the main part of the property before I cross the stream. I'm not going to crawl up there right now, just too much brush. But my property goes all the way back and I'll try and show a little pointer how far it goes back in that direction. So let me take you over into this direction so you can kind of see what else I got going on. Ew, it's that dead armadillo. Somebody must have dug it up. I took it way back out here and put it in a hole somewhere. Can't even remember where, but I don't know. Maybe this is a different one, but poor guy, he's seen better days. I always look at this tree. It's so big. It is absolutely huge because this is usually the spot that I cross over to the other side of my property. So um, I may try and do that right now. Just kind of give you a little look around that side of the property. And for reference, there's the tiny house. But again, my property goes way back there. I'll put up a pointer. I've crossed over the stream and there's the tiny house. Now let's see how we can look around back in here. Oh, I don't want there to be any snakes. There is more cut wood stacked up back there. I'm not gonna go back there, but I am gonna try and go around this way because this is all still my property too. So many spider webs. So this area isn't too bad back in here. I think this would be pretty easy to clear and maybe even make a little campsite right in this area. That would be kind of cool. So all that property is mine over there all the way to basically where the trees stop. And so let's go up this way a little bit further. There's a property marker so anything from that back this way is not mine and you'll see a few more kind of off in the distance over there. Back in here, there were a ton of berries and uh, unfortunately, they're pretty much all been picked over. But all this wood is mine. I got it all over the place. I love it, love it. But hauling it would be another story. Moving back further and further. It's really gorgeous, but it's getting really thick. And I've got a spider hanging on to my camera. Lovely, hang on. Well, my property probably goes back to about just beyond that big tree. Just a little bit further than that. I'm not gonna go back there just because I know all the berries are probably already gone. But it's very thick brush back here. We're back at the property marker, so let's keep walking a little bit this way. It's gorgeous back in here, but it's unruly. My goodness. Oh my goodness. <laughs> All right. So, yeah, my property ends right about where those trees are. Uh, I can walk through here. Everything over here is mine. There's the tiny house. Everything past these trees is not mine. Oh, and look at this. I think I heard that crack at some point when we had a really big storm. But I sure wish I could get that taken down and have it chopped up. Someday, I need to get a chainsaw. 
There's another property marker. So this part right here, basically, to the right of me is not mine. To the left of me, it is mine. <sighs> All right, let's keep, keep trucking. See where we're at now? There's the tiny house. Look at this. For me to be able to do anything with this land, it's just really, really gonna take a lot of work. I think this is where I'm going to stop for this section. That stuff is so tall, it's over my head basically. But my property goes all the way over to the street. And then, of course, back to the tiny house. My beautiful little nest. I just love it so much. When I'm doing my walk arounds, this is the spot that I usually use to get back over to the basically the active side of my property. So, let me get across there. Oh, oh, what do I see down there? What is it? It is a nice little group of mushrooms, but they're not edible, so I'm going to leave them be. I think I'll just take a little walk down my little dry creek bed, whatever it's called. Try and get through some of these vines. You know what? I wish I had brought my machete with me. I could have taken care of what is oh that's a piece of trash i'm like getting all excited i'm like oh boy is that a mushroom i got mushrooms on my brain there's actually a few mushrooms back here where they're kind of old well this is where the water usually is if it rains like forever and ever no water today though and then here is the spot that i cleared for judy that i no longer let her romp around in because I don't think she's just got sensitive skin. Okay, so we're back up over here and whew, it's getting hot out here already, but it's pretty. It's very pretty. Oh, I set up another additional little sun thingy to block the sun when it's uh, you know pointing towards the van. So I have another little shady spot to sit. There's the tiny house. There's my junkie shed and my water catchment system. So yeah, that's my property. And you can tell the area that Mr. Lucas mows for me because there's just a line. He comes all the way back here and does all that. Um, if I get rid of that pile of wood, he'll just mow right over that too. But the areas that are tended to look good. The areas that are not, well, not so good. Whew. It's getting hot out here, so I'm going to go ahead and close this video out. I think for the next couple days I'm going to be working on a project that's going to require me sitting in front of my laptop for an extended period of time. A couple years ago I had put together a recipe book and actually sold a few copies of it, but it's kind of outdated and it doesn't have, you know, all the pretty pictures that I'd like to have in there. So. Included in it is going to be the recipes for the things that I've made on the channel thus far and a few more that you haven't seen yet. So I know you will all be wanting to scramble over to Amazon and get your copy. It's just going to be an ebook format and I'll sell it pretty cheap. So anyhow, that's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.